this is Dre with Recovery One Drones. Uh, I'm here to you today to give you a little bit of information or a tutorial, depending upon where you're at. Uh, of late, we know uh, DJI has offered this uh, Power uh, 1000 station, and at the price that's been going for it, people are snapping it up like it's, uh, you know, the apocalypse is about to happen tomorrow. But other than that, I want to go further into depth with this power station itself and give you a little tutorial on how to update it and the reason why you may need to update it by buying some of the accessories that are out there, like I, I have purchased some. So we're going to take this step by step, and I'm going to show you what you need to do and what to look out for and how to add the app to your phone and all that kind of good stuff. But first of all, what I'm going to do is go over to the DGI website and I'm going to share uh, information because that's also one of the things that people have been asking about is uh, more information about it itself. OK, uh, overall, let me go ahead and move this over here so I stay in the picture, too. OK, overall. This is a great power station. Yes, there are other brands. Echo Flow, Jackery, uh, Anch uh, Anchor, all provide uh, power stations with a variety of accessories and uh, capabilities for them all. You go by the numbers, the DJI one does still come right at the top of the list. You look at the numbers, you look at the recharging of capabilities of it and everything else. Uh, I'm going over here, uh, talks about the ultra high capacity output. Uh, Stable output, 2,200 watts. 30-second uh, output, 2,000 watts. Peak output, 4,400 watts. Okay. Uh, the USB-C ports, fast charging, 140 watts. So if you're using, especially if you're using this with some of the older drones uh, that may not uh, have a fast charger, you can use the USB uh, ports or connect this port to your charging hub and it will get super fast in, uh, charging speed there. It said this thing is low noise, 23 decibels, which is almost like sleeping type of thing, uh, level of noise. You can sleep with this thing in the, in the tent with you if you're taking it out, and it's not making a bunch of noise that you can't hold conversations while it's, while it's charging or while it's discharging. Okay. Uh, it is designed to work with DJI drones specifically. That's why I talk about the fast charging part uh, there. Uh, like you say, uh, and it also recharges itself. The power station itself recharges totally from zero to uh, to 170 minutes. Using when I got mine, it was at, at about 50% when it comes comes uh, uh, box to you, and it take you probably just under an hour to get it back up to 100%. A five-year warranty, all that kind of good stuff. We're going to scroll down here. Uh, some other things. If I'm just going to tell you this. If you all you want to use this for is powering up uh, tools, appliances, use it as a uh, APC, you don't have to do nothing else to, to the unit. Okay? You don't have to do a thing to the unit itself. What I'm going to show you today is how to enhance the abilities of the unit and make it more usable or user-friendly for those who are out there. Okay. Uh, this is some of the thing, questions I get asked a lot right here about, you know, how long does it take to charge a phone? It says right here, it can charge a phone 57 times. Okay. It can call ca a car refrigerator. Uh, I don't know why I said car refrigerator. 19 hours, you can charge a car refrigerator. Camping light, 32 times. Uh, projector, okay, 9.2 hours of projector, okay? Average movie only, only going to last you about uh, two hours nowadays. So you got 9.2 hours of charging a projector uh, without having, with no power out wherever you may be at. A coffee machine, 55 minutes to make you a pot of coffee. Uh, electric fan, it will run an electric fan nine hours. Okay. Now, here is the big question here. Fast charges DJI drones. Mavic 3 Series Intelligent Flight Battery. Uh, it will do average battery 32 minutes. That's a level from 10% to 95%.
Uh, the DJI 3 series intelligent flight value approximately, I mean, Air 3, I should say, 30 minutes. Goes from 10% to 95%. Inspire batteries, the TB uh, 51s, intelligent flight batteries, 28 minutes. Same time, same levels, 10% to 95%. And also what I also use is the M30 uh, uh, batteries, 32 minutes, 10, going from 10% to 95%. Okay, so there are the answers that a lot of you uh, have been asking about. Well, how long does it take to charge this? How long does it take to charge that? How long will it take to recharge it? Everything else. So there, there you go. You got your answers for that. Now, this is what I'm going to be talking about right here. It's multiple recharging options and what it's going to take for possibly for you to be able to use those options uh, for itself. Now, this is what we talk about using different things. Normal charging, no big deal. The solar panel, if you bought that adapter and the solar panels with it, I don't think there's going to be much of an issue there uh, for the most part, but it may because it doesn't state specific, specifically uh, if you need to update it. I'm looking here in the uh, notes at the bottom, it doesn't state. And the same thing with the car power, if you bought that adapter like I have it, I have the car power adapter, I have the solar power, a solar power adapter, and I also have the adapter cables for my uh, uh, Mavic 3 and for the M30. So I have, I, have a, I have a couple adapters there, and that's why I was concerned about what I may need to uh, make sure when I put these things in, there's not a step or something I didn't do to make sure it's going to operate in a manner I think it should operate. So we're going to continue on. I had to call DJI this morning to get the proper instructions because I searched high and low uh, for the last couple of days, especially over the weekend, and could not find the exact uh, video. Because, you know, like I said DJI gives you a manual, and it doesn't go into a lot of details. Or I should say step-by-step, step, and that's what I'm going to do today is go step-by-step step for you. Uh, so I called them up. I talked to a nice gentleman named Brian, and he gave me the step by step. Uh, I say the cliff note step by step, and that's why I'm doing this video to give you a more in depth level of what you should do and what you should be seeing the, the station do and the software, what it's going to do. And we're even going to cover the app that you can put on your phone. Now, I have an Android phone, so it's going to be for Android phones today. I don't use iOS phone, so we're going to see what it looks like on an Android phone to have this app, which is also can be used to keep uh, monitoring what, what your power station is doing, how much it's intaking, how much it's outputting, all the different things you can have on your phone. So we're going to go through this step by step. First thing I was told uh, by DJI is that when you get ready to update this, you have to put it in what they call load mode, all right? To go into load mode, what you're going to need to do is simultaneously push the AC button and the power button at the same time. When that occurs, you'll see on the screen, you'll see in the words on the lower right part of the screen, you'll say load. And this prepare to load. Also, they told me once I do that, go ahead and plug the station in to the regular AC plug uh, outlet into this. So you can continuously getting power. All right. The last thing you want to do, one thing you got to need to do is make sure you have downloaded the DJI Assistant 2 for power. Not for drones, not for gimbals, but for power, which is for the power stations. So you have to make sure you have the appropriate assistant to the only place you're going to find that is at the DGI download site. You'll get the assistant to that's where you find that at. So you got to make sure you have that on your PC or laptop, whatever you're using to do this update with the power station itself. I would, I would recommend that you have it booted up already. And so when you take the USB cord uh, from your PC or from your laptop, 
you are plugging in to the number one uh, uh, USB-C port, which is right next to the older style port uh, in the screen over my shoulder. You want to go to one that's on the left-hand side. That one reads the computer or read my computer with no problems. I put it into the right side one. It didn't, it didn't read anything at all. Once you plug that in, you have the assistant open. It will automatically recognize the power station and take you to the little icon, DGI. It'll say power station below it, as you see on the screen here. All right. Once you're at that level, you will go ahead, click on it, and it will start, it will give you the menu for the updates. Apparently, there have been about four updates since September of this year, 2024. There have been four updates. So it's probably best that you go with the last update, which was dated December 12th. No, nope, can't be the 12th, but today is only the 9th. So last one, I think it's right around 1st of December. All right. And go with that one because that, like always, anytime you have updates, the previous updates are included in the latest update. So go, don't go from the top and click each one. Just click the bottom one and everything is included into that update. So now we're going to look at the process of an updating on this power station. I noticed there's about six steps, six, not steps, but six levels to the update. The first four, five, you zoom by ultra quick. The last one, which is the sixth one, usually takes a little while for it to finish up. It's like watching paint dry. Overall, you're going to need about, I would say, a half an hour a good half an hour to do this whole process. So don't get excited. Don't get in a hurry about where you're at, how much time you have. Give yourself from 30 to maybe 45 minutes to get this update done and make sure it's done correctly. All right. The reason why I need to do this update personally is because I bought the DGI dongle. And I've, I sent a picture of it out a couple of days ago. You know, trying to put a little teaser out there and ask folks what it is. You know, a lot of folks didn't know. Some say, oh, it's a dongle. I said, no kidding. It says it on a box, dongle. But they didn't know exactly what it, its use is for. The DJI dongle is, is a device made specifically for these power stations. So you can uh, use an app on your phone to monitor the power station from your phone itself. Now, I've had apps for other power stations. I have a Blue Eddy that comes with an app, and it already has that stuff built in it. So that's one of the one good thing some other brands may have that this one doesn't have. My Blue Eddy has the app, has the uh, Bluetooth connection, no problem. It's all built into the system. DJI thing, you have to buy this dongle, which is about 27 bucks off their website. And uh, for this thing to even be activated, you have to do this update for this dongle to be activated when you plug it into the SDC port. Okay. So once you plug it in, you'll see the Wi-Fi icon show up on the screen on, on, the, on the power station, which lets you know that it is least activated and it recognizes it. All right. That's not the last part of your updates because apparently once you open the app on your phone, once you install it on there, it needs to do an update, the app itself. So this is another long update again from the app on your phone. It will rush through all the way up to about 80%, 90%, and then it takes the turtle mode for the rest of it. So this is where you're at again to where it You'll see it updating, updating percentage going up, and then it takes that last part of it, takes about almost 10 minutes by itself to go through the process. Once everything is done, you'll see the green light on the uh, dongle. You'll see the, uh, the rest of the information show up on your phone, showing that the, it is connected to the, the power station. It will give you all the information on the power station, it will, it will give you the uh, latest firmware uh, numbers, 
and everything else on your phone about your power station. So, like always, if you're a drone pilot like me, we always want always say this one thing, make sure your drones have the latest firmware update before you go out and fly. Uh, it may be something, but there's always those people who says, if it ain't if it ain't broke, I ain't trying to fix nothing. And this is where you'll be at. If you're not if you're one who does not desire to get a dongle, don't worry about this at all. You won't need it. But if you're one who wants a dongle, and if you're one who want who has purchased or plan to purchase additional batteries to go with this uh, power uh, station here, you will need to go through the update process for those items to work. So if you've seen the video, uh, any videos about the new power, uh, extra batteries for the power station, it tells you it, it itself doesn't have a power on mode. It, ought to, it gets activated when it's connected to the power station, the original one. So you will need to go through this step-by-step -step process to make sure it is at least updated so it can at least accept or at least directly control the additional battery uh, component that DJI is now selling the Power 2000. So hopefully this is uh, what you need or what you've been looking for. Uh, this is Dre with Public One Drones. As I always say, hang on, enjoy the ride, and please subscribe. Thank you. Thank you.